Our senior design project is the automation of the universally expanding cage. We are a group consisting of EEs, CPEs, and MEs. This presentation will describe the device and the solution we as electrical and computer engineers will try to solve. Our medical mentor is Dr. Thomas Scrotz and our faculty mentors are Dr. Jacob Baker and Dr. Emma Regentova. Some background about the device. First, we will discuss the applications for the UEC. It provides treatments for patients with spine deformities such as scoliosis, kyphoris, and lordosis. The figure here provides examples of these deformities. The cage can be used to treat other spine issues that are based around the entire spine. There are several current market solutions that can rival the UEC. The first is the memory metal scoliosis correction rod, pictured on the right. This method of correcting scoliosis is currently the standard for treatment. It, however, is bulky and can create infection or bruising if implanted incorrectly. The rod can increase the risk of death if multiple surgeries are performed to adjust the rod. The second picture is the Tri-C brace. This brace is used in mild forms of scoliosis. This solution is quite bulky and is not inconspicuous. It provides problems when having to fit the brace every day. There are various selectively expanding cages on the market that are only expands upwards, so they are not as flexible as the UEC. A version of the UEC currently exists, but it presents problems such as the inability to adjust the device without additional surgery. Our motivation for this application was first presented to us when Dr. Graz explained the problems of his current design and solution he would like to pursue. The existing UEC, as said before, cannot be adjusted easily after initial implantation. The patient has to undergo additional surgery to get adjustments. We also hope to advance the technology of current osteopathic medicine, which is currently archaic and somewhat primal, as seen with the memory route earlier. We want to provide patients the ability to adjust the device whenever, without the risk of additional surgeries or burden that can increase the risk of problems. The current market solution looks at manually twisting and turning of screws to adjust the device, which is not as precise as automating the, the device. Here we see the functionality of the device. Two screws are used to adjust the device uniformly or can be adjusted on either side. The outer screws adjust the far side while the smaller inner screws adjust the near side. This expands the cage in both directions as opposed to the current cages on the market which only adjusts the device up. This allows the device to be used in a wedge shape or keep the rectangular shape in an expanded form. Our design to improve the functionality is to integrate an automatic method to adjust the device after initial implantation. Our current idea consists of the use of stepper motors, some type of wireless communication, and an IR sensor for distance measurements. This eliminates the need for repeated surgery which can cause a burden on the patient physically and financially. Here we have our current prototype of the device which uses two stepper motors, one for each screw. We plan on using stepper motors for their high torque and ability to convert degrees per steps to a linear distance. The future plan for this prototype is to shrink our components. Some issues we are encountering is finding the proper size motors with the proper torque specs. We also need to translate code to a lower power microcontroller. This will help preserve the battery life of the device so the patient does not have issues with in the future. Other considerations we are finding are different uses for wireless communications, such as Bluetooth communication, which is low powered, or NRF communications. We are looking into different IR devices to measure the distance of the device while expanding, as well as a power supply to supply power to all components. In conclusion, with the help of mechanical engineers, we can devise a plan to provide enough force to push the device against the spine plates. We are trying to design a UEC that can be automated to help reduce the burden the current method can have on patients, such as financial burdens and physical burdens from repeated surgeries. We are also looking to advance osteopathic technology from its current primitive solutions.